Yes, this church is in turmoil. But it has the truth. And we must separate ourselves unto the truth. Friends, coming up is Professor Walter Wave's presentation you know, about independent or self-supporting ministries within the SDA church. You know, there are many self-supporting or independent ministries within the SDA church today. And this is what Professor Walter Wade said about these ministries. I will let the video play and will add my thoughts at the end. With that being said, let's get into it. Yes, this church is in turmoil. But it has the truth. And we must separate ourselves unto the truth. And we find the truth clearly delineated for us and demarcated. And we have to stick to it. Seventh-day Adventists have been chosen by God as a peculiar people, separate from the world. It's a condition. By the great cleaver of truth, he has cut them out from the quarry of the world and brought them into connection with himself. He has made them his representatives and he has called them to be ambassadors for him in the last work of salvation. The greatest wealth of truth ever entrusted to mortals, the most solemn and fearful warnings ever sent by God to man have been committed to them to be given to the world. And in the accomplishment of this work, our publishing houses are among the most effective agencies. And you know what? The electronic media that we are using today is nothing other than a publishing house. It publishes information. That's what it does. And why was it necessary to have even independent ministries? And let's face it, many independent ministries are a pain in the neck. They are. They've severed themselves from the church. They sit on their holy hill saying, we have become holy, you are apostate. Hmm. No. We're one family. Cannot separate yourself. Then why is it necessary? When I became a member of this church, there were no independent ministries. 31 years ago, the only independent ministries that existed on the face of the earth were health institutes. There was no institute that needed to preach the three angels' message. It wasn't necessary. Why not? Because the church was doing it. And as the church stopped doing it, what did God do? He had to raise up independent ministries. And does it have an effect? Well, you saw the statistics. Yes, it does. But we cannot separate ourselves from the body. We cannot. If we don't work in harmony with the body, then we are a severed member, a severed arm. Our arm is useless. It's useless. A leg by itself is useless. You have to stay within the system. You have to cooperate with it. We have a Seventh-day Adventist message. Any institution that calls itself by that name and doesn't preach this message has a problem. At this time, when we are so near the end, shall we become so like the world in practice that men may look in vain to find God's denominated people? Shall any man sell our peculiar characteristics as God's chosen people for any advantage the world has to give? Shall the favor of those who transgress the law of God be looked upon as of great value? We invite them all the time to our institutions. I don't understand why. Shall those whom the Lord has named his people suppose that there is any power higher than the great I am? Shall we endeavor to blot out the distinguishing points of faith that have made us Seventh-day Adventists? Nobody can get baptized into an independent ministry unless it's become so apostate that it thinks itself the bee's knees. You become part of the church. You have to be linked with the church. Sometimes the church doesn't like it, but it certainly cannot ignore it with those millions and millions of viewers. And it should begin to ask itself the question, why are the millions of viewers looking at that? 
Shouldn't we return to that and start preaching in, in the church that we don't need independent ministries anymore? Shouldn't the church wake up? All right, friends. So you heard what Professor Faith said about independent ministries within the SDA church. Yes, I perfectly agree with what Professor Faith said about the various independent ministries within the SDA church. But I also think that some independent ministries came in because there were certain things that are going on in some of the churches, some of the conferences, some of the unions, and some of the divisions, and also in the general conference that no one was willing to warn about. A typical example is the LGBT influences within the SDA church. I also agree that the various independent ministries within the SDA church should not separate or disconnect from the main church or from the body because we are all one people in Christ with the same mission to preach the present truth. In fact, the SDA church is unique because we have the truth. God has chosen us in this end time to present or preach the present truth and warn the world of the coming destruction. And I think most of the self-supporting ministries or independent ministries are preaching the truth, are preaching the present truth. And sometimes some of them warn the church about some of the things that are going on in the church that are not in line with the scriptures. I believe that most of the independent ministries within the SDA church are doing so well. For example, Doug Bachelet's Amazing Fact, Professor Walter Bates, Clash of Minds, and we have Bible Flock, we have um, Stephen Ball's Secret Unsealed, we also have Amazing Discoveries, and we have so many of them that are doing so well. So I think in one way or the other, they are also contributing to the spread of the gospel. And also, some of them are warning the church concerning some errors some people want to bring into the church. So friends, let me know what you also think about the various independent ministries we have within the SDA church. Are they important? Are they actually doing what they are supposed to do or they are just messing up things? Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is all that I have to share with you today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because here on this channel, we share everything that you need to know. We share things that are happening in and outside of the church to keep you updated, all right? So if you are interested in knowing what is going on and also if you are interested in great videos that will draw you closer to God, this is the right place to be. Subscribe to this channel now and receive more updates. My name is Brother Lawrence. See you next time.